guys live in Gallup New Mexico and I'm with the hot air balloon pilot Bill Lee owner and operator of extremely fun balloon adventures and I fly the balloon true Lee New Mexico with the big sugar skull and the New Mexico true logo on it um, how do we get with you if we want to come and take a ride um, pretty simple you can go to scenic balloon rides.com um, all of my information is there you can also find me on on Facebook under Extremely Fun Balloon Adventures. That's spelled X T R E M E L E E Fun Balloon Adventures. Extremely Fun Balloon Adventures. So we look forward to having you hook up with us. You can give me a call on my cell anytime, 505 979 2012. And all of our flights are by reservation. And we have a personalized fun experience for everybody who wants to check this one off their bucket list. So you have to head on out to Gallup, New Mexico, and then there's your ride, and there's your pilot. Thanks a lot, Bill. Thank you, Dana. <laughs> we weighs about 600 pounds, so we're going to work together as a team this morning. We're going to lift on counts of three. We're going to lift with our legs, not with our backs. Make sure that we don't get hurt, okay? We've got lots of help. Lots of hands should make light work, so we'll get going. One of the first things you've got to need, or going to need, is a pair of gloves. I have gloves. Um, I don't know if I have gloves for everybody, but if you get a pair of gloves, you're going to work. That's the way it works. Um, so... Um, all very large, all very unfashionable, but grab yourself a pair of gloves and then we'll go around here to the back side of the trailer and start to explain what we're going to do. All right? He's about 600 pounds, so Nico, when you're ready, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what, you didn't have your Cheerios this morning? Nico, no, that's 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 morning. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna do it. Um, I can do it. I got muscles. So what we're gonna do is we need to get some hands down around the, the handles here. Okay. Um, everybody, step in there. On the count of three, when I go one, two, three, you guys are gonna pull. I'm gonna push. We're gonna pull it out and let it tip to the ground. Jessica, you're close. We need to just pull the truck forward. I don't have to. So when she gets ready to pull the truck forward, we'll just push yeah, it up on its edge and we'll push it down. Uh -oh. No, you better not. We got that? Understand? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Good. It's important to um, give our passengers the full experience to see how the balloon goes together. Um, how it works, how it operates, um, and it gives them a chance to put their hands on it and really kind of get to know how it works. So um, we give a full experience, basically, give you a chance to dive right in. We usually have lots of help, so we don't make people work too hard, but it's a lot of fun. All right, so what's... Smart Alley. <laughs> so, this is what we call a tie off. Okay? You'll notice it goes all the way back and hooks to the back of the truck. My pickup. It does not go under the trailer. 
or tie to the trailer. Um, this balloon, when it's fully inflated, is well over eight tons of mass. It will pick up that trailer like a toy if this rope were to go taut. And so we do this when we have breezy or possibly windy conditions. It's a safety. It's tied off to the basket. And so if the wind were to, once we started inflating, um, take the balloon and start to move it, it would come to an end and it wouldn't go through a crowd of people or take off on its own. Um, so it's just a safety procedure. And that's what this big rope is for. So now we've got the basket fully rigged. Um, over here, I'll kind of go through some of the lines and controls with you. So this is a red line. We have two of them on this balloon. This first red line goes to the top and there's a parachute top in the, in the, in the top of the balloon. It pulls that top and pulls it down when the balloon's inflated to release hot air all the way around it. That causes a descent. We also use that for deflation. We'll pull that top all the way out when it's time to deflate the balloon. And then this red line is um, somewhat of a newer invention on balloons. It's called a smart vent. And in, so instead of pulling the parachute down like this, it pulls the parachute in and pulls it makes a nice big hole in the balloon. So if you have a high wind landing, it deflates the balloon very quickly and keeps you from dragging too far. Um, this is only used primarily for those kinds of situations. It is a lifesaver. It's a really good tool and one that we're glad we have on our balloon. It is um, also able to be closed. So if I use it and then I need to keep the balloon standing up, I can simply pull the other red line and the top will go back out and we can keep the balloon standing up there. So the black line and also a green line over here. Let me get the green line. These lines are called turning vent lines. It's really a misnomer because <laughs> you can't turn a balloon. A balloon is an aircraft with no steering wheel and no brakes. Don't you feel good about getting in that thing? All right. <laughs> So, so, You'll uh, note I'm still standing on the ground. We are not <laughs> in the thing. Okay. <laughs> so the black, the black and the green lines are what they call turning vents. And they do turn the balloon to an extent. What they do is spin the balloon either left or right. They do this by releasing um, air from the side of the balloon. So when I pull this, it opens a vent on the side of the balloon and will cause it to spin left or right. And we have those primarily for when we land. This is a big scoop here on the front of the balloon. And we want that scoop facing downwind so that any air that's hitting us is being forced back up into the balloon. So those are the lines, that's how it works. The burners themselves are, are very, very powerful. Um, if I were to light both of these burners and hit them at the same time, that's 36 million BTUs together. So very powerful, very hot. Um, they will, to, to put it in perspective, 36 million BTUs is basically enough Enough heat to heat your home in the winter for about a week. <laughs> All right, so very powerful um, and can cause us to climb pretty quickly, can also arrest a fall very quickly. So it, they're very powerful and very efficient burners. So there you go. The, the balloon itself, I'll cover a little bit about that for you. This is what we call Nomex. Everybody's familiar with Nomex. And the Nomex helps to prevent from being burning the, uh, the, the ripstop nylon, which we have on the balloon. So ripstop nylon really doesn't burn, it just melts away. And so this first set of panels on the balloon is made out of Nomex, more or less to prevent you from burning your balloon. By the way, there are two kinds of pilots in ballooning, those who have burned their balloon and those who will. So yes, I've done it. Um, most balloons, if you burn a small hole in them, they're still very airworthy and still fine to fly. <laughs> there are rules and regulations on the aircraft's maintenance and what damage is acceptable and what isn't. So, then the, the, this is um, called ripstop nylon. If you want to come up here, Dana, I can show you. You can see the warp and weave in the fabric, okay? So it's like little squares in there, okay? And it's very strong, okay. really strong fabric. This is the same fabric that parachutes are made out of. Difference between a balloon and a parachute is a parachute, you want a little wind to go through it. We don't want anything to escape in the balloon. And so the inside of the fabric is coated with a chemical to keep the balloon from being porous. And really, typically, that's what will wear out on the fabric first. So people ask, how long does a balloon last? How many years will it go? 
Well, it's all based on number of hours primarily and how well you take care of it. So just like your clothes, you don't want to get them wet and put them away because they mold and mildew, right? So you don't do that. So we don't want to ever get the balloon wet. And then the, the other piece of this is heat is our worst enemy. So when you wash your clothes, it's not so much the washing that does the damage, it's when we put them in the dryer. That wears things out. And so we're putting a lot of heat in the balloon. Up toward the top of the balloon, it'll probably be close to 180 to 200 degrees up toward the top of the balloon. And so that's really what wears them out. So, But if you take care of them and fly them cool, you can expect to get anywhere between 700 to 1,000 hours out of a balloon. Um, I've had this balloon for three years now, and I'm just now putting 100 hours on it. So you, they last a long time as long as you take care of them and, and do the right thing with them. So that's kind of how a balloon operates and what the lines are all about. Oh, these are Kevlar lines that are hooked to the balloon. Um, just like your Kevlar bulletproof vest, that's what this is made out of. So it's very strong. Um, a lot of balloons have um, steel cables, stainless steel cables that they connect to. We use Kevlar. Um, most balloons these days go to Kevlar because in the event of a power line strike, these aren't nearly as conductive as a steel cable is. They will still conduct electricity, but not nearly to the extent of a steel cable. So, lots of safety features built into the balloon. Um, and, you know, it's just like you hear, just like you hear on, on news stories, you, you always hear about the crashes in balloons, right? That's what makes the news. You don't hear about the thousands of great flights and landings that take place every day. So it's really a very, for, a very safe form of flight. Um, just a word of recommendation to you, if you're thinking about taking a balloon ride, make sure you check out your pilot. Know, know who they are and what their safety record is and, and, and make sure that they're going to operate safely. But outside of that, it's a very safe sport and something everybody should try.